So, Tim, how has Craigslist sucked for you? Well, Craigslist has sucked. It's like been like a double-edged sword in a way, because like Craigslist is kind of awesome in some ways, but there's like a darker side to it too. You are the creator of you suck at Craigslist.com. Yes, that's right. So that website is all your fault. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> we cannot identify you because you are on parole. Yes. And what are you exactly on parole for? A uh, restraining order against Craig Newmark. <laughs> and let's just keep it simple. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> the the whole thing started because I was actually using Craigslist for its intended purpose and I realized that a lot of people are just really terrible at it and I started posting things in my personal blog for friends and folks encouraged me and that's never a good idea and it just grew and grew and grew and finally we found out that the, doni the domain name you suck at Craigslist was available and it just went to hell from there. Wow, so how long have you been doing it now? Uh, since August of 2008. Wow, and it's it's pretty much blown up pretty big. It's gotten a lot bigger than I ever expected it would, yes. And how many uh, posts have you done? Like, how many horrible things have you discovered? <laughs> we've discovered so many horrible things. Um, right now, we've only managed to post about 530 of them. But there's, uh, I think, about three or 400 posts in my yes box waiting to go up. Get contributions from people. We get contributions from all over, from England, from Australia, from everywhere, yeah. Let's give them some examples, maybe some visual ones. Um, so one post that I particularly love is someone was trying to sell a truck on Craigslist. The main problem with this truck is that it was covered with bees, hundreds of thousands of bees. <laughs> now, did they let the people know in the posting that it was covered in bees? Yes, they even posted a picture of the bees and said, I can't go with you when you test drive this because of the bees. <laughs> and there seems to be a very um, uh, grand lion theme. Yes, yeah, one of the, one of the original posts actually was, um, it was this picture of a tiger that this woman kept advertising as a lion. And so I, this was in my local Craigslist and I found this and I, she posted it day after day after day after day and kept calling it a lion. And so I, I kept posting, this is not a lion, this is not a lion. What we found out is that apparently people cannot tell big cats apart because this is a recurring theme and we keep finding these not a lion posts. But the sperm donors. Oh, some of the personals are very, very frightening. Yeah. Sperm donors are my favorite. They're actually trying to sell a cup of sperm for $250. And they say things like, I I'm good at math. Right, right. Yeah, I'm good at math, and here's my sperm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just to maybe give a little bit of a glimpse of reality, why you're actually hiding your identity. <laughs> can we tell our viewers a little bit of... You can tell as much or as little as you want. I'm in a profession where I just feel like it's not the best idea right now to, re to reveal who I am. Yeah. So we'll leave that to your imagination. Where, where most people are seeking fame and celebrity in exchange for privacy, this woman is choosing to just remain at service to you, to make you laugh and enjoy the internet. You're doing it just for the love. I am. I really am. So we have with us another You Suck at Craigslist guerrilla activist. So what is um, another shocking and unbelievable You Suck at Craigslist experience? I'd have to go with the nacho cheese fountain. So you've seen these chocolate fountains that have chocolate coming down like at a party or something? That's very, very sexy. Imagine one of those filled with awful, congealed, chunky nacho cheese. Possibly with little bits of jalapeno floating in it. And they posted a picture and somehow felt that everyone was going to want to buy one of these things. And it was appalling. <laughs> 